wrap me and cover me in olive oil. <laughs> Cyprus another stunningly beautiful hot day and we are feeling really blessed to have this weather really sorry you guys at home and not having the best weather but hopefully we'll be able to bring some back when we do come home and uh, today we're off to uh, well we're going to a dam first to have a look at that and a reservoir and then after that we're going to a olive making factory museum um, yeah so Lizzie wanted to uh, well she picked it out so what we did was we both decided on something to do today and you decided to go to the dam yep so we're gonna do the dam oh damn, damn. Um, and then we're gonna be doing the olive tree museum I don't or, think it's olive tree no? or just an olive making. olive oil making olive oil olive oil I just thought, you know, something a little bit cultural and uh, we'll, uh, we'll take you along on that because I really want to see the, the processing of it and everything. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay. See you later, guys. I weren't feeling too well we got back to um, the hotel and uh, I was just feeling a little bit off my stomach feels a little bit funny um, but I felt a little bit dizzy and we was in the restaurant weren't we and I said to, I said to Neil I just I feel really really hot I don't know whether it was the heat that was giving me a little bit of anxiety but it was ever so hot there but um, got back to the hotel and I still was feeling a little bit shaky um, so you had a beer didn't you and uh, I just weren't feeling it I, I haven't really been drinking much anyway I've, I've stopped drinking a hell of a lot um, and I just have the odd cocktail here and there when we're when we're here but I've not really been feeling that I want to drink I don't know if it's a hormone change through the menopause or what but alcohol just doesn't agree with me anymore but we got back to the uh, the hotel and I said to Neil, I just don't feel right. So I laid down for a little while. And uh, because we'd already eaten in the daytime and it's just so hot, you just don't want to eat a lot. So we had um, we had a nice little meal at the harbour. No, it wasn't harbour, was it? It was Lecce in Lecce. That was it, Lecce. It was, it was right near the harbour though. But it was near the harbour. So, but it was in Lecce, Lecce Beach. Absolutely beautiful place. Lecce. Lecce, Lecce. You say Eva, I say Ava, but so it's Lachi. Right up north of the island. Right up north of the island. But I lay down, I still, I still said to you, I just don't feel well. So you gave me some seven up, didn't you? Yeah. And all of a sudden, I felt fine. So I'm not sure if my sugar levels are a little bit on the cusp. So I need to check those out when we get home. But we are also going to go on a massive, massive health kick because we really want to start getting a little bit fitter, don't we? Um, well, it's about cleaning out your gut. We just want to well. cleanse, yeah. We want to cleanse all that out. We started it during the lockdown, didn't we? And we done really, really well. Um, but since the menopause hit, I kind of have fallen completely off that, haven't I? I haven't been able to sort my weight out at all. And it's frustrating me a little bit. So I um, guess you ladies out there will understand that. Men, I know you might understand because you get What's it called? The andropause, which andropause, andropause, which a lot of men don't don't realise that it's out there. And uh, look it up; it's it's quite interesting. It's it's the male version of the menopause. So when your husband gets a little bit grumpy, I studied it. 
could be his hormones as well. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go on a massive health kick. So if any of you wanna come along with us on this health kick as well, drop us a comment. And uh, we've now been in the, uh, the health industry, shall we say, studied a lot, that we'll be able to help each other out. Yeah. Did you lock the car? That's the dam. Oh, that. Oh, wow. website to say to call before you come. They're probably out in the fields. No, you've got to ring that. What's that? Probably not working anymore. Probably that's a light. I don't know how to ring that, mate. Hello. Yeah. Alright. Okay to film. Is it okay to film? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. yeah. For YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not you, not you. Well, if you like. No, it's alright. 
inside the park on the board mm -hmm. and uh, we provide also the olive oil testing the uh, entrance fee include uh, testing it's seven euro each person yeah and uh, if you like i will explain about the production uh -huh. this is the way Peter. Oh, you want to take it? Peter. Okay, so we're on the tour. So you can go through the park, you ah. have all the information. So Lizzie and I have decided to come to an olive oil making uh, plant. Is it a plantation or what do they call it? It's a museum, but it's an actual working, working factory, factory, so to speak. Um, yeah, and the guy said basically, we go off and have a walk around, and then we'll come back and we'll try some of it. Sparkly shimmer on our skin. trees were considered a natural wealth back in Roman days and rebels people that disobeyed were often punished by having their olive trees split in half and burnt but literally a day or so later the olive tree has the ability to completely replenish and it can just carry on from even fire and axe Beyond gravel, beyond all Hand in hand So the importance of this olive press was really, really um, quite revolutionary because it used the um, it used animals really to turn this millstone rather than humans by hand more like a donkey or a cow can do compared to human effort quite considerably more I would have thought they found a cave gold. How did people come up with the idea to extract oil from olives? It seems it was an accidental discovery. As one day someone must have stepped on a ripe olive and realised that it was filled with oil. In the beginning they crushed the olives with their feet like grapes to extract the liquid gold. As Homer refers to olive oils, Often they would wear clogs to protect their feet from the hard olive stones. I have my clogs on. They're crocs, not clogs. <laughs> uh, that's where crocs originated from.
mills which activated other machines. In Cyprus, water was used to power the grain mills. In other countries like Greece, they were also used for cotton or electric production of olive oil. The water mills were millstones, and as the millstones turned, they crushed the olives. So this is the thyme tree. Um, it has anti oxidative and microbiocidal qualities and it's an antiseptic and spasmolic time can guide against respiratory infections cold sore throats tooth decay fungal infections and asthma oregano oros and ganos equals the joy of mountains the ancient Greeks were first to use oregano, which is said to have been created by the Cyprus goddess Aphrodite as a symbol of joy. Bridal couples were crowned with garlands of oregano to ensure lasting happiness. It was not only used in their diet, but also medically. Oregano is rich in antioxidants, antifungal and eupetic properties. Eucalyptic? Huh? Eucalyptic? No. Eupeptic? Where? Eupeptic. Eupeptic. Toilet wee. Oh. Since antiquity, people have used herbs for their nutrition and health. Hippocrates said if people lived and ate properly, there would be no illnesses. He recommended using a variety of herbs so that meals are more pleasant, so that we quickly have a bellyful. I get a bellyful. 4,000 years ago, Cypriots traded perfumes they had made from herbs. This was discovered during excavations in Pygros Limassol. So we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to do some olive oil tasting now. Um, so it's seven euros to, uh, to do some tasting each. That's fine, isn't it? It's an experience, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think that's too bad. Oh, that's fine. It's paying back to their little communities as well. Exactly. Or, you know, getting our olive oil over to... Where we are. As you all know, olive oil now in the UK is quite expensive. It, it used to be, you know, pennies really. Well, not pennies, but it used to be really cheap, didn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, lovely. So, this is a uh, two types of olive oil. One is green, that is our uh, top olive oil. Mm -hmm. And the other one is for the black olives. Lovely. Yeah. Actually, that's really nice. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> it's better than the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> it's very different. So much flavour. Mm. Absolutely lovely. It's Kalamata, and uh, one is local oli olives. It's called uh, Sekiste. It's from Cyprus. Mm. Mm. This is the black olive oil. This is from the black olive, right? Black olive oil. Thank you. Well, I think lunch is catered for. This is good. Mm. Right, we'll come back to you once we've um, really tied into this. this? <laughs> we'll leave that. I really want to saturate it. This is olive and olive oil. Heaven. Heaven. I really like the black. Mm. Did you enjoy did you enjoy that? What was your favourite one? I preferred the black olives and the black olive oil, but I 
think the green ones just have a little bit more of a salty taste to them, but they're still really nice. Yeah, I'd say the same. For me, it was definitely the black olive oil. No, the black olives, very nice. They've got a much, much less salty taste and they're a little bit more pungent, a little bit more oomph to them. And the black oil as well, or the oil from the black olives, just that much tastier. How much is it? Oh. That's 40 euros. Yeah, how much is a bottle of olive oil? Well, that one's 30 euros. I don't know if it's the tin or that, but it's 30 euros, 65 euros, 16. Ah. But, is that black and? Yeah, that's the one green. Ah, oh, that's the green. Yes, you can see here, early harvest, ultra premium, mm -hmm. Mm. extra virgin organic olive oil. And this one is the black. So, that's a hundred euros? Yes. That's the one you said? Yes. Wow, we're not that rich. I wish. <laughs> we're not that rich. I wish. <laughs> I wish we could. <laughs> Black, that's gold. I'm, I'm also not rich. <laughs> no. That's why it's called liquid gold. Liquid gold. Liquid and gold. It yeah, it's called liquid gold. Like yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is the uh, secret people are blessed by. Yeah. Well, we both thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh, they call it grandma's, grandma's medicine or liquid gold. Look. Eat olive oil. And come in the evening, eat butter and sleep like a dog. Good fats. Good fats. Very important. And people, most of us, don't eat enough good fats. Really don't. And it's essential for good health. Include eggs and um, avocados in that. just sitting there waiting for us and then we wave them on and they're like so nice it's unreal we're like ah, I love you. <laughs> so yeah I know, useless bit of information but hey ho every little helps 